All right, let's pick up where we left off. So we've been practicing all sorts of really cool things, and now we have Flux 2 to help us manage our key. But I'm going to take it up a little notch now. So here's one thing that you may not know about. So believe it or not, you can actually stand switch during the animations of attacks, do all sorts of different things. So you know how, for example, I've been doing Morning Moon, and then now I can, and you can only dodge, like in high stance, you can only roll, yeah. right? And sometimes you don't want to do that. Instead, what you may want to do is say dodge in low stance instead, because it's faster, right? Now here's what you can do. You want to be able to, if you want to be able to do a morning moon into a low stance dodge, let me show you what you do. So pay very close attention to the stance wheel as well. So what you can do is you do morning moon, okay? That's step one, obviously. But what you do is during the animation of an attack in which you can't like do anything, that's when you change your stances. So during the animation of an attack, change your stances to the stance you desire. So here's what I'm gonna do. During morning moon, I'm gonna swap to low stance and watch what happens. All right, I swap to low stance and now I can dodge in low stance. So you can use this to your advantage. So I could even do things like Swallow's Wing and then dodge into high stance if I so desire. This allows a greater deal of control over your character. So this is again on the more advanced edge, but it's really valuable because you can control the behavior of your character much more often than you may have thought was possible. So reshift your stances so you can do the desired stuff and you can easily combo as you see fit because all the game is checking to see is what stance you're ending on so morning moon i switch beforehand in order to dodge freely i've actually done this on accident uh, in the last video or so um, and i'm sure you may not have noticed but i'm trying to break my habit of pre-shifting my stances but it's really handy to be able to do this and this concept actually applies to many, many other, all weapons, in fact, all weapons, and there's a lot of crazy stuff you can do with it. Um, here's a tease for some of the other weapons, for example. And there's a lot of advanced tech that we, that we can build off from this, but it's important to learn this. So, for example, with the spear, there's spear flourish, which only works in high stance. All right, it only works in high stance. Unless you have the mystic art, which I'm not gonna get into right now, but it pretty much only works in high stance, but, and you may have guessed it. Let's say you do a mid stance attack, such as, uh, let's say, Water Wheel. All right. Let's say you do want to do his Spear Flourish. Then, while this attack, Water Wheel, is going off, if you swap during the animation to High Stance and then Key Pulse in High Stance, you can, in fact, perform a Spear Flourish. This is huge. This actually means you don't really even need this Mystic Art Fluidity, which allows you to Spear Flourish from every stance. Um, you can, as soon as you get Spear Flourish, you can use it in any stance with pre-shifting going on. This also applies to the ability, where is it, Rainbow Ruse, which is a low stance only maneuver. So let's say you want to do the high stance ability Piercing Rain, but you don't want to do Spear Flourish, and instead you want to do Rainbow Ruse. Well then, during the animation of Piercing Rain, just make sure you have swapped to Rainbow Root, sorry, to Low Stance so that you can perform Rainbow Ruse. So now you can prevent a Spear Flourish from happening, or you could do a Rainbow Ruse from hap whenever you want, or you can just do a normal Key Pulse in a different stance. It's like all up to you. So I'm going to keep it simple with a sword. As you can see, after a Morning Moon, I can do a Low Stance Dodge. That way I don't always have to do this High Stance Dodge, which eats a lot of Key, and it may not be the thing I want to do. So I can do crazy things like running attack and as opposed to doing a roll, I can do a running attack, switch my stances really quickly while the attack is going off, which I know is difficult, um, but I can switch my stances so I can perform what I like. This will take a lot of practice and requires a lot of muscle memory, a lot of fast fingers. So for now, I would just advise you if you're using, say, a, a weapon like the sword is to work with the longest animation attacks. Morning Moon is pretty straightforward. And as soon as you fired it off, you can change your stances. This is something that I'm gonna start doing from now on, and it is super great. Um, we will take this concept even further to other crazy mechanics because 
the depth that is possible with just this little tech alone is immense. Um, some of the highest players uh, use this tech to prevent their attacks in low stance and in high stance from bouncing off of enemy blocks. And so it's again very complex and there's a lot of crazy things you can do. But for now, we're just gonna focus on shifting our stances so that we can end in the stance that we choose. That's it. That's all we're gonna do for now. So let's apply this as we progress further through the level and you're gonna start to see how this game can really get more complex. So let's just explore. Uh, it doesn't look like I've gone this way. I don't recognize the fire whatsoever. So let's see what we've got. All right, so I definitely haven't been here because of that. Um, I haven't even gotten a hot spring, so I'm going to have to find it out. Let's see what's here. Looks like there's a guy here. Get his attention. Oh. Stab him. Alright, he's done. Alright, let's see this enemy, what he's going to do. Dodge. Let's get a morning moon. Switch my stances beforehand. Pretty crazy, huh? So, that's something you can do. Alright, what did this person die to? Killed by a warrior. Um, what this person died to? Oh, there's a Nurikabe nearby. Notice it says crushed to death for hostile behavior, so there's got to be a wall. Um, oh, there's the wall. So don't do a red thing, so it's either a blue or a yellow. Nice! Found the hot spring. Okay. Nice. Alright, we got that health regeneration buff, so let's keep going. All right, you also died to a warrior? Yeah, yeah, okay. What else do we got? Oh, I see a guy in the distance. Um, I see, oh, whoa, whoa. I had a lot of them. Let me use this. Get my magic up. Here, you guys wanna see that one-eyed Oni core? Yeah, that just happened. So it can pack a real wallop. It's really good for key damage, but as you can see, it's a very close range. Alright, so I think I saw... Okay, there's one guy over there. Oh, there's another guy. Of course I climbed that mountain. Oh well. Oh, we got a Scampus. I wish I had come here sooner. All right, let's get more shots. I think I have max shots. I have. So what I would advise, and again, you can reassign these points uh, as you want, but for now, we just want to be able to get more shots so and use more jitsu in general. And so I am going to get more types of shots. Actually, actually, I'm going to get this passive, Pure Mind. Yokai Realm and Dark Realm Resistance. Yes, please. Really good. Helps you with all that stuff, so you don't have to worry too much about managing your key. All right, what do we got? We've got, um, okay, how did this person die? Rush to death? Oh, shoot. Oh, Scampus is attacking for me. Here, I'll show you the one-eyed Oni again. Remember your sheath right after. Oh my god, it did a lot of damage. I want to get that thing that was over there. Um, crushed to death? Oh, okay. Oh, shoot! Okay. Alright, I don't really remember going here. Oh, there's a Gaki. Just shoot it. And remember, you can always animation cancel using... Ow. You can always use Yokai abilities to animation cancel, provided you have the anima. Alright, what's here? More Amrita stuff. Um, I want to get that thing that was down there. Oh, what? Oh, shoot, it's the Tengu again. Gosh, that hurts. Alright, so let's just try this. That was awkward. Woo! See, now I'm starting to play tr a little faster. Woo! Woo, look at that. Got away. Woo, woo, woo. And chicken bone. Remember, I'm sheathed right after this, so let's go for that. Oh, I'm not sheathed after that. I was wrong. I'm not sheathed after a chicken bone. Okay, so now I know where I'm at. All right. Um, all right, let's use the Gaki. Now I know I'm sheathed after this for sure. Dead. 
Complete murder. Alright, where's that thing? There it is. Okay, looks like we got it. I recognize where I kind of am in the level. Let's just get these things. Let's see if I got any upgrades in general. Um, did I get any... Oh man, this stuff's level 30. My stuff's kind of weak. But this is all good stuff. Alright, let's see if I got any more powerful bows. Did I get a more powerful gun? Um, not really. So I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, what about a helmet? I Yeah, I definitely got a better helmet. <laughs> Alright, what about this? Um, ooh. That seems better. Okay, what about this? Yep, dramatic upgrade. Um, doesn't really matter. I'll take the higher defense. I like the faster winded recovery. Ooh, 67 defense. Pretty good. Um, these are 84. I'll go back to that. And then we'll go for 67 defense. And then better boots. And then more of this stuff. Ooh, enemy sensor. That's actually really handy. Um... Enemy sensor is actually really handy. You can have, so there's four sensors. There's enemy sensor, Kodama sensor, Amrita sensor, and treasure sensor. So enemy sensor is like super nice, so you don't have to worry about getting jumped or anything. But okay, let's go cash in my soul core. I think I've cleared everything, right? I think I have. But I don't think I've gotten every Kodama yet, so I'm just going to double check. Alright, I got a soul core. Was it a new one? No, it's just another Gaki. Okay, well, we'll hold on to uh, this core. Alright, let's check how many- Oh, I don't even have a blessing on? I'm an idiot. I'm missing one Kodama. i pick up more soul cores, actually. That's fine. I'm, I'm doing okay on the elixir front, anyway. Alright, what about my proficiencies? Can I get any more new things? Oh, I'm very close to leveling up the sword yet again. So, I guess uh, just a little bit of farming, a little bit of killing, and I will get it. Alright, let's just keep going. I got more than enough shots, so I'm in a good position. Then I guess let's just go through this. Oh, there's that guy. Alrighty, what do you got? My turn. Nice key, dude. Yeah, absolutely dead. Okay, I can level up already. Alright, what do we got? What's here? Huh? Lightning? Okay, alright, there's this guy. Whoa! Come over here, buddy. Oh, it actually damages him. Not bad, not bad at all. Pretty effortlessly dispatched him. Oh, there's a Kodama. Let's go get that Kodama. Will this person die too? Unnatural death. Person died too. Killed by warrior. I'm guessing that's the warrior. Alright. Alrighty. Oh, nice. We got the proficiency and we got the Kodama. Oh, it looks like this is safe from lightning. So I I'll go spend my point. Alright, looks like I am going for kick, actually. So, in order to get kick, I must get leaf glide. This is going to be the first parry that we get. Um, parries are pretty complicated, but I do have a guide to address each of them. Um, leaf glide works pretty much only against humans. Parries in general only work against humans. So, yeah, they're not... Uh, there are very few things that work against yokai in terms of uh, parries, but they're pretty valuable. So I'll show you what it looks like. I get a little attack boost afterwards, too. Now, what's the timing for that? Now, I'm not going to go too much in depth into it, but most parries function around the same timing as the one that I just demonstrated, which is basically just before the attack's going to hit you. So it's very similar to Phantom Burst timing, on average. But when I get to the weapon guides, I'll explain a bit more about the parries. Um, I can level up, so I'm actually going to go back to level up. I don't mind killing these guys again. I think it's important that we be as powerful as we can be. So yeah, let's just go level up. I believe I've gotten everything, every Kodama, both. I think I've, I think I've cleared the whole level. All right, I'll get some more magic because why not? And again, I can always respec and it's pretty inexpensive anyway. So let's see if I can equip more Jutsu. The answer is I kind of can, but I need to get more shots and more things like that. So, okay. I think we are good to go. 
for when it comes to this next boss. This next boss is actually going to be human. And we're going to study it as we have before and then just kick its butt using the concepts that we know. And so we're going to really practice pre-shifting our stances to get the biggest edge possible. Ooh, ow. Lightning sucks. Look how slow I am because of lightning. I'm going to wait it out. Um, all right. There are things you can use to dispel stuff like that. Let me see if I have anything. So you got stuff like Sacred Ash, which can help. Really handy. Um, there, there's, there's even this. Preventing, temporarily preventing elemental based ailments. It's really good, so I don't have to worry about getting lightning on me. I'll still take the damage, but I won't get the lightning debuff. I won't get electrified. But okay, let's go kick some more butt. And I'll just show you what pre shifting stances can look like. Of course, with Flux too, this can be monstrous. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so since it's boss time, it's totally reasonable to buff up a little bit, and let's just go to town. Alright, let's study this guy. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. Let's see what he does. Okay, a burst attack. Summons an entire freaking elephant. Shoots lightning arrows. See, I'm just running around right now. Alright, one, two. It looks like two little attacks. Okay, he's doing a lot of different melee attacks. Okay, that's one, two. Okay. Charges. Okay, one, two, right? No, sometimes just one. Okay, elephant, right? All right, he summons the elephant. Okay, did he change weapon? Shooting arrows. Okay. So that's new. So it's like a slam with that spear thing, shooting arrows. Okay, elephant, right? Yep, elephant, okay. Arrows? Oh, he also shoots them into the air. Okay, so just keep running around. All right, one, two, right? Yeah, okay. It does a charge. One, two. One comes out really fast. One comes out slower. Okay, elephant. Okay, that's what I know he does at long range. And he shoots arrows. Okay. Uh, let's see what he does close range. Oop, he does some attacks. It looks like he's with the butt of that spear. Okay, what else? Okay, there's that thing I know to go in from here. Ooh, he blocks. Shoot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that really hurt. He has a multi-hit combo. All right, elephant's coming out. Looks like he can burst counter that. That's a good amount of time. Oh, there's a grab. Okay, he has a lot of downtime if I miss it. All right, so this is charge attack. All right, two hits. I know I can go in. He's the yokai ability. Oh, he's blocking. Oh, 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 shoot. Whoa, he had like a burst attack that was a counter attack. That was weird. All right, shooting up arrows again. Ooh, elephant! Oh no, I didn't time it right. God dang it, I was too slow. I gotta be really quick for that elephant thing. All right, what's next? All right, he's gonna do a attacks, right? Quick, quick, yep. All right, my turn. Okay, he's blocking. Oh shoot! Okay, oh, oh there's two hits. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh! All right, lucky dodges. Ooh, I got lucky there, ooh. Okay, I'm doing good. Keep it to the pressure going. Oh, shoot! Oh! Oh, nice! I need to get my key back. Let's heal up. Alright, arrows. Okay, shooting them at me. Oh, okay. I gotta dodge away. That blocking's really annoying. Alright, what's he doing? Oh, that's new. Oh, I got him that time. Nice. Knocked him down. Let's keep going. Oh, what the heck? He stopped my attack. Oh, dude, I do not want to block those arrows. I definitely want to avoid them. Okay, that's new. Let's go in. Oh, oh, god dang it. Gross. Ooh, dodge, get back up. All right, arrows. He's shooting them at me. Okay, downtime, let's heal up. Oh, I'm too far away to get that burst attack. All right, he's shooting them, shooting them up. Whoa, he's charging once, twice. Okay, I can go in for real quick hits. Oh my god, he interrupts me. What the heck do I do? How do I deal with that? Okay, um, I'm gonna heal up. 
God! Oh no! Oh. Gosh, I gotta be really close for that. Really, really close for that. Okay, what's next? Oh, multiple hits. I should have blocked sooner. Okay. One, two, right? Okay, then I can go in. Oh wait, no, I shouldn't! Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh god, oh man. Crap, I'm so gonna die. Okay, I can go in. Oh my god, oh, come on! Oh! And how do I deal with these blocks? How do I deal with these counterattacks? I was doing okay on everything else so far, but those freaking counterattacks, man. Like, I understood when he was... He had downtime and I was going in, but I just I was just so hesitant about being aggressive. And then when I was trying to be aggressive, he was just shutting me down. How do I deal with this? Okay, I need to figure this out. And so I, I know you guys are going to have difficulty with this in the same way too, because we've been talking about being aggressive and he's just like, you know what? Uh, I laugh at your aggression and I'm going to block it. So we've studied a lot, so... We know, it's, we know what to expect at long range. All right, he's got two hits, right? I'm gonna buff up for a key recovery. All right, one. Okay, one, two. All right, now I can go in. So we know he's gonna counterattack. Ooh, he's blocking. Okay, I can wait a little bit. Whoa! Oh, nice. Stab. All right, let's use the Yokai ability. All right, what's he doing now? Oh, nice. Oh, wow, I got lucky. Oh, I'm. Oh, that has a really huge range. Let's go in. Okay, he has his block stance. That looked like a block stance. Block stance. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. High stance doesn't care about block. Oh, panic burst counter. Okay, so he has like these. Oh shoot. Okay, he has these. Counter attack burst attacks. So if I can anticipate them, I'm in good shape, but that's gonna be really tough. All right, he's doing a bunch of attacks. All right, there's the elephant. I'm a little too far away. He's shooting arrows. Okay, if I can learn to dodge those, I can get into him. One, two, all right, let's go in. Okay, he's blocking. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's got some pretty crazy attacks if I Give him some room. All right, that one's safe. I know I can go in. Oh, wow, that was really effective. Maybe I could use Yokai abilities. Ooh, he doesn't care about skills. Oh, shoot! Chicken bone, yes! Dude, he's almost dead. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, so he does have a counterattack with that weapon. Okay, so how do I deal with this counterattack stuff? I can obviously wait. Nice, nice shoot. Oh no, I'm freaking slowed. Oh, come on, the kick again. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Dude, that kick's brutal. Okay, let's see what I learned. So I got really close to beating him. So what have I learned? He has, he, he seems to be based on these counter attacks, right? That's like one of the biggest difference. So I remember high stance attacks generally ignore blocks, but then he has that thing that like interrupts me no matter what. So I kind of need to know when he's going to do those interrupts. So he does those interrupts with like certain poses. He has those two swords that he blocks. And then if I hit him, he kicks me out. So I got to be on the lookout for those. And maybe there's a way I can outsmart him. Let's, let's, let's try to figure out a way to outsmart that. So I'm not right now too interested in winning. I want to figure out how to outsmart that block. All right, let's buff up just to be a little safe. All right, elephant, I'm too far away. Oh, yeah, I got hit with the lightning arrow. All right, that I can deal with. Oh, 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 I preemptively dodged just to be safe. And then he did that and I was able to get that burst attack off. Okay, he's kind of blocking. All right, so two attacks. I know I can go in. Okay, he's doing the blocking pose. Ooh, maybe I could try doing a skill when he's blocking. I don't, I don't want to attack him when he's blocking. All right, what's next? Arrows? Oh, I guess I could block him if I don't want to get hit by all of them. All right, arrows again. Let's see if I can go in. Oh, I did. Oh, oh. Okay, he's blocking again. Oh, shoot. Back away, back away, back away. All right, let's see what he's got. Okay, he's gonna do two things, right? Yep, my turn. 
Okay, he's in block. I just waited a little bit. Then, oh, look at that. He can't respond. Whew. Oh, shoot. Oh, I was too slow. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get my key back. Oh, I hesitated. All right. I remember that move. All right, is he in a blocking pose? Skills work really well. Okay, that had a lot of range. I remember that. Okay, what's next? What's next? Oh, that, that grab. Okay. Remember, there was a lot of downtime with it. Use the yokai ability, because yokai abilities don't care. Oh, 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 that was not good. I gotta be really careful about when I'm aggressive. I gotta be a little bit more mindful with it. Oh, shoot. All right, that's two hits. I'm gonna go in. It's flux two. I need to regain my key. Dang it, I hesitated. All right, arrows again. You know what? Let's use some jutsu. Ah. I need some time to do it, and I don't feel safe with it. All right, let's go in. Let's get that key down. You know, block pose. Oh my god, panic dodges. Okay, one, two, right? Two, yep. Oh, oh my god, he did it right after. All right, he really likes that counter attack thing very often. It's okay, so he really likes to counter attack. So I gotta be sure to do counter attack, anticipate those counter attacks more often. All right, all right, you're gonna do a counter attack. Oh, you were, oh, you were bracing for it. Oh shoot, oh. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh, go! Nice! Knock him down. Excellent, excellent. Go, Gaki, go. Oh, panic burst! God dang it, don't kill me now! Oh! All right, I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm, but I, I just still can't read when he's going to counterattack. I really need to figure out when those counterattacks can go off, because... I know, if I can understand when they're going to come off, then I know I can counter him. Because sometimes he does a burst attack, and then if against humans, if I use a burst counter, I can basically go for a knockdown, which is a super punish. And then sometimes he does that weird kick thing. I, I, I'm getting the hang of it, though. All right. Let's be sure to do it this time. Right. Oh, oh, yes. Let's get that knockdown. All right, I'm going to buff up to be safe. Don't forget, you can always animation cancel with... Oh, oh, oh! You can always animation cancel with burst attacks. All right, what's next? Two hits, right? One, two, my turn. All right, you're going to counterattack. Let's sidestep. Oh, he did not handle that. He didn't like that. I just waited a little bit. Oh, oh! Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. After he does that blocking stance, there's a high chance that he will do a bow. Yes, exactly. Okay. After he does that blocking stance, one of those blocking stances, I can go in and I almost know for certain he's going to counter. Okay, that's good. Dude, this guy is a lot easier now that I know that. Here, take all the punches, man. Yeah, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so he pretty much does that on cue. That's crazy. You know what? Let's let's make it. Let's let's be silly. Let's let's sheathe my weapon here. How's it going, buddy? Yes! Oh my God! What a huge difference once I realized when he was going to do that counter attack. He almost did it on cue too. That was ridiculous. What a huge difference. Wow. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have a soul core because he's a human. Oh well. Well, let's just end this mission. We learned quite a lot this time around. And there's a lot of information to parse through, so... Whew, okay. But but I learned... I learned something very, very valuable. Very, very valuable there. And that was simply that even though he had this mechanic to deal with my aggression, there was a way for me to one-up that because I learned what he was going to do. And then I counterattacked. And then I beat him to a pulp, and I kept doing those burst counters, getting those chicken bones, and it was just a good time. Wow. Okay. I learned a lot there. Whew. Okay, so these enemies, their complexity is starting to get a lot, a lot higher. Oh, sweet. We even got some samurai locks. We got a lot of stuff that we are going to work with, but I think that was overall fairly difficult. So let's just take a little breather from here, and then, you know, we'll just 
keep going through the game. But again, the moral of the story is, especially with that boss, is that just because an enemy counterattacks you, and yeah, it can be frustrating. As you saw, I was like, all right, I'm going to be all out aggressive, all out aggressive. And he's just like, yeah, no, screw that. And it was, it wasn't, it didn't feel that fun because it's like, hey, you're stopping me from playing the game. But the thing was, he was forcing me to play in a more intelligent way. And once I understood, hey, he is basically baiting my attacks. And then once I know, hey, he's going to do it at this moment, then I can punish that. So it's like almost like a fighting game where you know what your opponent's going to do and how that they're going to counterplay you. And then you counterplay that. So there's a, there's a lot of more depth than I realized to this. And I didn't have as much trouble once I understood the way to deal with it. So I can tell you this for certain. There are a lot of enemies that play with this as well. And so a lot of the practice that we've gained and a lot of the skills that we've acquired will continue to remain relevant and we'll be able to find faster ways and more effective ways of dealing with opponents. But for now, I think that's a lot of information I've thrown at you. I know this video has gone for 30 minutes, but hopefully you've learned a lot. In any case, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was helpful, and I will see you guys next time.